Welcome back, everyone, to episode 14 of our Mortal Shell Enhanced Edition Let's Play series. Last time out, we had gotten all the braziers lit, and we have unlocked the Path Dim Gate. And now we are just kind of uh, just clearing out, getting some last-minute items. One of the things that I was wondering is what those two status are, statuses are, because I knew the one status... Uh, so now when I use a Bronze Bell, not only do I get a 10% bonus to Tar, but also get a 10% bonus to Finding Glimpses. So that's what that's what those two indicators are above my Resolve. It's the Tar and the Glimpses. It lasts for like six minutes, so that is really good. We also did get our regain our second chance by killing ten enemies. Um... I think really quick I'm going to run over here because I think there's like lore or something over here but I'm not certain we never actually went this way it's probably like ghosts or something looks like nothing Yeah, nothing this way. Okay, well, let's proceed to Dim Gate. We will talk to Sester Ganessa. And then we're going to ascend the tower. So just a quick, a quick uh, kind of tip for these people. Is when they go to swing, they're going to pull back. And then as soon as they stop pulling back and they begin to move forward towards you, that's when, um, that's when you need to hit the parry button. What they're going to do is they're going to pull back. And as soon as they end pulling back and begin to move forward, um, that's when you want to hit your hit your parry timing. Because a lot of people find it very difficult to parry most enemies in this game. Um, let's try to get a parry off on this guy. See how I did that? I waited until he began his large windup when airborne. Probably at the high height of his Probably at the height of his arc is when I when I triggered my parry. I kind of want to get better at parrying the heavy guys. Because that's not parryable. That is. That is parryable. Let's just uh, use our... So when he pulls back, I'm... Nope. That's not what I want. I want the pull back. Now oh, he never actually did it. 
which is fine. Um, I'm gonna talk to Sester Ganessa, but I'm not gonna sip because I don't want all those enemies to respawn. Don't worry. It is not your mind unraveling, but our world. Our senses betray us, allowing us to believe our surroundings are immutable, even knowable. But nothing is certain within the sanctum of the revered. A curious blessing. My old kin do not shy away from these troubling inconsistencies. Instead, they welcome and embrace them. They worship at the feet of those rapturously twisted and reborn. So, calm yourself and take a sip. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not going to sip. Very well. I am good. We are going to go down here. This is um, this is where we unlock the elevator shortcut. But it's not active yet until we get to the top of the tower. Or, you know, near the top of the tower. As of now, it's just a pit. I think it would be fun to go ahead and ring our bells, ring our bronze bell and our gold bell as we go up, because that'll give us better resolve, better glimpses, better tar, basically better everything. I think that'll be cool for us to have that many, um, that many effects at once. Before I do that, I'm gonna run over there get some lore get those two items and then I'm gonna pop it before I kill those guys hopefully I won't trigger them by doing what I'm doing right now there's really only lore I think this way I could be wrong but Here it is. Let's see what it says. We no longer remember our name. We are a multitude, emptied and re-poured into a human-like vessel, a comforting mirage. Your eyes refuse to acknowledge our boundless form, but neither time or shape can confine us. Okay, I did, I did get a glimpse for that. We have so many damn glimpses, we don't even know what to do with them all. So I'm hoping I can get to the top of the tower by the end of this episode, but... If not, it won't be for not trying. It won't be for not trying. Let's um try to get the guy on the right first. So again, I'm going to wait for his wind up. Oh, I had the wrong, uh... I had the wrong parry on. I wanted to put the damage parry on, but I don't know why I... For some reason, I screwed that up. That's my fault. But anyway, let's go ahead and pop our bells. Um, let's do this thing.
Oh shit. Okay, that was a mistake. What are you doing? Get back here. That was a bit of a mistake, which is fine. So we need to kill eight more enemies in order to get our second chance back. Luckily, there's a lot of basic ass enemies up here. Winding Obsidian Tower. Oh, never even noticed me. I think five, five more enemies to get our second chance. Man, this extra glimpses thing is working, man. There's ghosts over here. I think this activates the shortcut, but I'm not certain. There they go. Oh shit. Shit. Come here. Get up. Okay, so you can hit them. You can hit them when they go under like that. We've regained our second chance already again. Let's try to get a parry off on this chick. Damn! Damn! Oh my god, she just wrecked me. Just got completely wrecked. Um, let's use some of our scriptures. I think that one catches enemies on fire, but I'm not certain. No. It refunds resolve on success. I misread that. Getting a little sloppy. And towards the end of the game, I'm starting to get feel myself getting a little sloppy with my technique. Could be more patient. Uh, take all these guys out you know I have watched some let's plays of this game and people tend to just kind of run past enemies instead of like dealing with them which is always a little bit of a bugaboo for me so I'm going to kill every single enemy in this area every single one no nope, don't try it don't you try it Try to grab the guy that I know how to parry. Let's grab him.
I don't I don't want to try to parry him on the steps. Shit. Okay, that worked. Okay, again, I think we're close to getting our second chance back. We probably have like five more enemies to kill or something. Um, of euphoria let's see what that does because we have a couple of those scripture of defiance maxed more resolve is granted next parry grants health so despite what effect I have on it, I can get health back no matter what. Oh my god, she just shot her own person. I didn't even know that that could happen. That was cool. We're getting towards the top of the tower now. I think there's ghosts up here or something. Something stupid is up here. Just a couple of... Uh, We did get our second chance back. We do not want to fall down. <laughs> We're getting higher and higher. We're almost to our elevator. Uh, there is an item there. Oh, golden bell. Great.
Okay, let's definitely trigger the shortcut. We're not going to fight those guys yet. We're going to go over here. Trigger a shortcut. Let's use more of these scripts. I know you can parry these guys. It's just... Uh, Shit, shit, shit. I'm almost dead. Fuck. Gotta heal. <laughs> Definitely gotta heal. I was getting wrecked by, uh... Archery chick. That did not feel bueno. Okay, I could try to get a parry off on this guy, but what I kind of want to do is just shoot him in the head with this. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. I mean, we got 10, we got 10 bolts for God's sake. Just wrecked his ass with that. That was kind of incredible. Um, him I can parry. Another bronze bell? Shit. Let's unlock the shortcut. I think that's what's over here. Yep. Do it again. You jerk. I think I have to step on it. I can't just send it. I have to step on it. Okay, so that sh that shortcut leaves us here. Again, I have no reason to sip. There's no reason for me to sip right now. I don't think there's anything hidden. <laughs> Got about five minutes left in this episode. We're not going to be able to get to the boss in that time. but we will be able to clear all these guys out. And there's an NPC up ahead. Um, 
that I'll show you guys. I actually, I'm gonna try something that I haven't tried before at that NPC. Um, let's go ahead and pop our bells. I'm having a good time with these bells. That was a bronze bell. Sit your ass down, boy. Guy got wrecked. And so did he. Uh, we need to kill her. Uh, we also need to kill that. We got him. We parried his ass. So when he does that straight ahead uh, bash with the sword, we can parry that. That felt good. Come on. Okay, we can parry that. I'm gonna walk away. Walk away as the explosion happens. Let's try to parry this guy too. I don't want anything to do with that attack. Love it. Uh, before the end of this episode, let me go show you the NPC. This guy. We should be able to get resolve from talking to him, but also I want to spare him and see what that does, because the last time I kicked him off, speak with Brother Corvid. I'm graced by the presence of a scholar. Welcome, brother. If you're here to talk me off this ledge, Save your breath, for my ears no longer know wisdom from malice. I'm afflicted with a ravenous obsession. Not unlike your thirst for knowledge, but I keep finding that the truth is, it matters little what I decide. Okay, so that's different. That's a different... Um line of dialogue than, than I've heard in the past. I don't know if I can do anything with him. Come to witness a coward contemplating his end. It's a pathetic sight, isn't it? I merely went with my brothers once. The sun has been dark in my eyes ever since. In the moments before death, I felt sure I wanted to live. But now, here I sit on the precipice, undecided. Leave me to my thoughts, will you? Okay, so I think, I don't think we can kick him off. Because... Leave me to my thoughts, will you? Okay, yeah, we're just going to leave him, which is what I was going to do before. 
All right, guys. Well, that's the ep- the end of episode 14. When we come back next episode, we will continue on ahead to the archives area where we will fight the uh, last Sacred Glands boss of the game. So anyway, guys, my name is Free Nachos. Thanks, as always, for stopping by, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.